Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest 6 The Spinal Frontier. We're in this filing room with all these filing cabinets here, and I've been told by a number of you guys, quite a few of you have comments saying that this is a very unintuitive part of the game. Now, apparently I should think about names of people that we've encountered or seen in the game and go from there. I'm hoping that's going to make sense. The first one, of course, that I'm going to try is R for Roger Wilco. Um, I guess we could try R or W for that and then just see if anything sticks, I guess um, So let's go all the way down to R And we'll see if we can find anything there. I don't really want to try and brute force all of the, <laughs> the Filing drawers. I think that would just be ridiculous and take way too long. So uh -huh, Well that one did open weirdly man these filing cabinets are a mess even I could keep them up better than this. Uh, okay, so... Your utterance is... I mean... It... As cool as it... How do... How do we actually do anything with them? Do we just open it and then look? Man, these filing cabinets are... That file apparently doesn't want to open. Oh, so that one actually will open, interestingly. That file... That file apparently doesn't want to open. Okay. That file apparently doesn't want to open. That file apparently. Carry. That file. So. That file. That file. We've got all of these. So that one wants to open. What I'm looking for as well here is distinguishing features to see Excellent. if there's anything that. Oh god, there are a lot of R's. That file apparent. That. That file. That. File, yeah, I'm just gonna. File, I'm sorry about the sound that, of the narrator being interrupted, that, but I'm just gonna. File. That file. Click that them and see what happens. Okay, so the only one that opened is this one. Now, I don't know if we can actually do anything. Man, these filing cabinets are a mess. Even I could keep them up better than this. Okay, so can we just leave that open? And then, I don't know. I don't know, let's see. Let's leave that open for now. Let's... Let's let's do it like that. Let's see if we can just open them all. Maybe it's like some sort of a code thing. So maybe you've got to like um, do the letters for people's names. And if you open all of the drawers, maybe it will open like a secret passage or something like that. I, I genuinely don't know, but that's what we're going to try. Um, so let's go to W. I, of course, also want to try the S's for uh, Stella, because that could be an option. Uh, I want to try the F and the B for Festa, Festa Blacks. Um, but we'll get onto those after doing the W's. That file. That file. That file. Any W's. That That. 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 that, that. That, okay, that, this that, I mean this might that, not be the way that you're meant to do it. Pile. Okay, W doesn't do anything So uh, let's do the S's while we're here shall we? We'll just start at this end That file that file that 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 <laughs> Oh my god that, Ah is this one opening? That drawer isn't even close to a drawer that starts with the letter R uh okay what why is it saying that that drawer isn't even that why is that, it telling us about that, the letter r that 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 okay so do we have to like maybe spell roger or something why is it mentioning the letter that file, r that that drawer isn't even close to a drawer that starts with the letter r Okay, so we had that. Was it this one? That drawer isn't. So the the only thing I'm noticing is that there's like a darker side to the one saying about the R. So this one also has that dark side, as does that one. So that drawer isn't. Even... Yeah, that drawer is. So it looks like any that have that slightly darker side to it, say about it. Not being close to the letter R. That drawer isn't even close to a drawer that starts with the letter R. Okay, so I don't know if that's relevant. Let's go back and close the letter R drawer. 
Just because I don't know if if there's a reason for that. Uh, let's see if actually while we're here, if there's any others that have that sort of... I think that's just dented, isn't it? Any that have that wider rim on them? Like this O, maybe? That drawer isn't even close to a drawer that starts with the letter R. Yeah, that's... so it... Huh. So it does say that. Okay, what happens if we close the drawer? Oh, wait, hang on. It's closed the drawer itself. So it was this one, wasn't it? Can we like unscrew it, it or anything? It would appear that merging those two items is not a good idea. Okay, can we use any of our items on this thing? It would appear. No. Uh, I have no idea what this thing is. Excellent guess. No. No. Okay. Maybe we can like tape it open or it something. It probably seemed like a. Man, these filing cabinets are a mess. Even I could keep them up better than this. So we can... So we can open that up. Why do we need to find an R? So, so like, this one's got a slightly wider rim. Oh, we can open this. Man, these filing... Can we... Can we like look at it? It would appear. Oh, right. General drawer failure. Please step off and try another approach. <gasps> so we you get the idea. Yeah, we get the idea. So we can climb on them. So we can use them like a ladder. I get the idea now. Right. So. Uh, we don't actually have any that match the pattern, though. So, I don't know. Let's just climb up and see what happens. I mean, is there anything... Man, these filing... Man. General drawer failure. Please step off and try another approach. What do we do now? Huh. Okay. Um, so we've managed to open them up. To climb on. But. I mean unless. Man these. Man these. Man these. Unless we've got to like open. That file apparent. Oh I see. We can look through the files. Rancid Nigel. It wouldn't be prudent to do that at this jump. Oh, I it see. It, it feels that's rats, that, rattlesnakes. It, so can General we? Draw, you get General Draw. You ah. get General. You get the. Uh, so, uh, Rancid Nigel was that a name that we encountered before? Man, I tell you what. Let's close all of these. And now what I want to do then is have a look at this rancid Nigel. Nigel Rancid and his brother Singent are hired thugs. Most recently, the Rancid brothers have been employed, beam employee employed by Dr. Hayden Bello and Sharpay of the Golden Light Years Retirement Community on Delta Burks on Five. Cross reference Bellows, Sharpay, and Santiago. Right, okay. So those are the thugs, aren't they, that, that ad ad abducted us, I think? So, what did it say to cross-reference? Uh, Santiago, Sharpe, and Bellows. So let's try, then. Go in and see if we can get any files for those, I guess? Uh, we'll do the S's first. Okay, uh, let's see if there's any... Right, that open. Oh, okay. Straight away with this one. Uh, San Francisco... Santiago Chile. Santiago Stella. That's her name, isn't it? Right, okay. Hang on. So we've got another file. Santiago Stella. 
Corman San Stella Santiago was a member of the Starcom, Starcom fleet before her departure from this world while attempting to rescue a janitor second class who was stationed aboard SCS Deep Ship 86. Cross reference Sharpe and Bello again. Or Bellows. So let's see if we can You're find Sharpe. Uh, so it does look like the the um the wider rim of the drawer is important for showing that it can be climbed on, I suppose. Uh, so we should be able to open this one, this one, and then that's it. So I guess what we need is probably in this one if the other drawers are anything to go by. General drawer. Okay, do we have to do it from this one? Yeah, okay. Ah, sharp A, here we go. Sharp A. It's all coming together, guys. Thank you for the, the hints about the names. A philanthropist of the First Order, this benefactress of many good causes is known throughout the universe simply as Sharpe. Sharpe's most recent project has been the Golden Lightyear's retirement community on Delta Berxalon 5, where she hopes to spend her declining years. Always thinking of others, this grand lady will leave a legacy of charitable works behind her when she goes. Cross reference with Bellows and Santiago. So, uh, that's fine then. Don't Let's go and uh, get, I guess, a file for Bellows. So we're getting score for all of these. Uh, I might just save, actually. Just because if somebody is waiting for us down one of these corridors or something, we could be in trouble. Uh, okay, I've misclicked their files. Replace. So... Uh, A to I is where we want to go now, and we're looking for bellows. B. Okay, so this one looks like it might open. Okay, yep, yeah, cool. Bellows. Dr. H. Bellows. Uh, Dr. Hayden Bellows. Let's read this. Dr. Hayden Bellows is the chief medical administrator of the Golden Light Years retirement community. He has gained much notoriety over his controversial efforts to mitigate the effects of, some say, to altogether eliminate aging. Cross reference, Sharpe Santiago, we've done both of those. Additional cross reference, Project Immortality. Okay, so we've done Santiago and Sharpe. But now we've got Project Immortality. Now, is that going to be under P or I? We'll try P first. And then go to I if not. P, 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 P. Okay, there's a P here. So... I guess maybe we can use these. Ah, hang on. There's another one here, and one there. So I guess this drawer could be the one that we need. Yes, Project Immortality, okay. Let's see if this gives us any more clues. Uh, God, we've got a lot of folders now. The holy grail of narcissists everywhere. Project Immortality is the cold hard scientific name applied to the cold hard science that is the fountain of youth of our times. Project Immortality is funded by Sharpe and overseen by controversial doctor Hayden Bellows. It promises humankind the hope of the ages, eternal life. Sure makes marriage a scary proposition though, doesn't it? Cross reference end game. Okay, let's go to end game then. Good opportunity to have a drink of water. Um, geez, the um, the reading the things out is really taking its toll on my voice. Uh, right, end game. Not to be confused with the Marvel Avengers movie of the same name. Not that I have anything against that movie, by the way, but just saying. End game. End game. End game. Uh, that is still gross. Right, so we're looking for one with a wider rim again. Oh, okay. I'm not seeing one. That file apparently. That file. That. 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 That file. That file. That file. That file. 
That file, the per that file. Huh, okay. Uh Endgame didn't want to do anything, so maybe game? That file, the per that file. That file. That file. That file. That. That. That file. Okay, nothing again. Um. Okay. Cross reference end hmm. game. Looks like interesting reading. Hmm. Huh. Okay, well, maybe we don't need to find that's... end game then? Maybe that's just a thing. Or maybe it's referencing the end of the game. Perhaps, perhaps it's like a break in the fourth wall thing. I don't know. Uh, but I'll tell you what, guys, we're out of time anyway. So uh, we'll leave it there. I'm hoping that I've got what we needed from here. Maybe minus the end game thing. I don't know. But um, yeah, I guess we might be done here potentially who knows uh, but we'll leave it there so as always thank you very much for watching a big thank you to my patrons arcades games way nate terminally nerdy paul from the phantom fellows lyle barry aldridge and hobo for all the support on the channel i really do appreciate it and i'll see you next time